saw Jesus being baptized in the uh, Jordan River and the Spirit of God, as soon as he was deep in the river, uh, in, the, in the river, and later that, the Spirit of God came upon him like a dove and baptized him with the Holy Ghost. I want you to notice something. Right after that, he did not receive power. But what he received is hunger. What he received is a leading of the spirit. And his only sons that are led by the spirit are coming to Jesus. The Bible says that to them that believe, he gave them power to become sons of God. Everyone that believes in the kingdom, he gives you power to become a son of God. Yes. Listen to me. Yes. It is one thing to receive, to be given the power. It is another thing to activate the power and to walk in the power. Yes. For you to be able to activate the power, you need to become a son. And sons are, no. sons are led by the Spirit. Yes, yes. Without you being led of the Spirit of God, you can't actually activate the power to become the son yes. of God. So when the Spirit of God came upon Jesus, the Spirit led him into the wilderness. Wow. And he was led into the wilderness. And the Bible says that in the wilderness he was tempted 40 days, 40 nights. Why did he go into the wilderness? I want to share a brief something revelation with you. You see, the quest of Jesus Christ in the wilderness was to go enter into the wilderness to eat of the food of life. In the wilderness, God takes you there to partake of the food of life, of the tree of life. In the first dispensation of the first Adam, he was created and put in a garden. And in a garden, he never worked. God did everything for him. Mm -hmm. And God said to him, all these trees, fruit trees, you can eat of all these. But there is one that I don't want you to eat. Mm -hmm. And that is a tree of knowledge of good and evil. All right. but there was a tree of life. The Bible said the trees there, the fruit trees there were all present to the eyes, which means the tree of knowledge and good, uh, knowledge of good and evil was also present to the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. But we have two vital trees in the garden. We have the, uh, the tree of life and the tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Good and, evil. and the Lord said, don't eat on that fruit. Of knowledge of good and evil. But you can eat of every other food. Alright. But watch this. When they were put in a garden, instead of them to eat what God has prescribed or dedicated to them, they listened to the lies and the deception of the serpent. And the serpent, serpent came in and deceived them to eat of that food. Of knowledge of good and evil, and they rejected the tree of life. They rejected the tree of life, which watches. If they had eaten the tree of life, they would have been able to maintain the dominion. Mm -hmm. I will get you there very quickly. Yes, yes. They would have been able to maintain the dominion. Yes. But you see, the Bible talks about God created the entire universe, the heavens, by wisdom. By wisdom, he created the entire heavens. Yes. So if you, as a being created by God, is able to decode the things that he created, you can only access that by wisdom. Yes. And nothing else. Exactly. So, when they forfeited the tree of life, which I'm going to come there uh, very uh, 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 quickly, I want us to go to Proverbs chapter 3. Uh, I want somebody please to read for me either in the King, the King James Version. 
I want us to look at this, the tree of life. Three, read from there. Uh, maybe that, that, that 13 verse down was to 19. Three and 19. Three. Yes, yes. Happy, Somebody, huh? happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. For he proceed, for he per, her proceeds are better than the profits of silver, and her gain than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things you may desire cannot compare with her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of, of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her, and happy are all who retain her. Okay. He's who? Wisdom is who? Repeat that. Wisdom is her. It's what? Repeat that message. Happy is the man who finds wisdom. No, no, no. no. The last verse you ended. The Lord, she is a tree of life to those. She is a tree of life. So wisdom is a tree of life. I want you to go quickly to Ecclesiastes chapter number 7 verse 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 12. For wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom given life to them that find it. Please ask us to report. Seven and That wisdom given life to them that have it. Watch this. The reason why the Lord had wanted them to eat the tree of life was just to grant them access to wisdom and to be able to maintain what he had given to them. Without that, they couldn't have handled what he gave to them. So what happens is this. As they, they ate the tree of knowledge uh, of good and evil, they were kicked out of the garden. Yeah. So that the garden was not being tended to by uh -huh. any man. Amen. Now the, the garden now became what? Wilderness. It had become a forest. It had become a wild forest. So, watch this. It is only by wisdom that everybody sitting under the sound of my voice, the God of wisdom, that you can actually access that power and the dominion power. So, what Jesus, what God was actually doing when Jesus was sending him back into the garden, which is which has become the wilderness, and for him to go there to confront the tree of life. And to and to eat of the tree of wisdom, uh, the tree of the tree of life. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. The spirit of God took him into the wilderness to confront the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and also overcome him and go and partake of the fruit of, of, of life. Amen. In order for him to have life. <laughs> and 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 and. The thing is this. The second Adam failed when he ate of that fruit. So he was kicked out. Because he rejected wisdom. And if you find wisdom, you find life. Yeah. But if you find the other one, you, you find death. So yeah. they died spiritual because they did not find wisdom. And so they were kicked out. Mm -hmm. To now go out there and struggle you chose, I gave you rest, but you chose hustle. Yes. What God intended to do is for them to just rest in the garden. Mm -hmm. Everything that is, is made for them to just enjoy by wisdom. You see, I want you to lead, uh, let you into something quickly. You see, David was given rest by God, which means all his battles were fought. Okay? It means he didn't have any hassle at the end of his life because every struggle was done. 
for Solomon to be able to maintain that rest, he only needed wisdom. With that wisdom, he couldn't have maintained the rest. He would have also lost it just like the first Adam lost it. Mm -hmm. You see, the Bible says it this way. He gave to them, to the man mm -hmm. that pleases him, wisdom and joy. But to the sinner, mm -hmm. he gave them to avail, mm -hmm. to gather and to help out for those that please God. Mm -hmm. Another translation will say they gather wealth for the ones that please God. So, watch this. For you to be able to recover the dominion bar that was yeah. lost, yeah. you need wisdom. Uh -huh. it's, it's a principle. The Bible says, wisdom is a principle thing. So, you need wisdom. And I want you to understand that without the wisdom of God, you can't really access anything that is given to you. And so what happened now, because of the fault of Adam, what has happened now is that instead of us to just have the normal rest, now we have to struggle yeah. yeah. in order to get rest. Yeah. Right. And as you are traveling or working hard through processing, you get the wisdom, you enter into the garden, which has become a wilderness. Enter there. That's where the traveling take place. That's where the struggle takes place. Yeah. Right. And as you enter there and you're able to travel and partake of the fruit of life, which is wisdom, now those as we are traveling in the wilderness, there were people actually gathering their blessing, cultivating your promised land for you. Mm. The, the glory that was taken away from you by the devil, okay? Mm. But the reason of lack of not uh, wisdom, okay? I should partake of the fruit of life and gain the wisdom. This is what is happening. Now God takes it out of his hand and give it back to you. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. 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 That is what it means that it will give you the wealth of the healing. Yes. Yes. The wealth of the righteous. Yes. yes. But he can't give you that wealth without you having the wisdom of God, which is the tree of life. Amen. Amen. And it's only acquired by the tree of life. When you partake of it, you have life. And when you when you have the life, it is a it's, it's a wisdom that is activated in you. And once that is activated, now the devil has no chance to leave uh, but to leave the dominion back to you. And that is why the Spirit of God took to Jesus into the wilderness, yes. okay, as a son of God, but left the wilderness in the power of the Spirit. According to Luke chapter 4, uh, is it 4 14? Uh -huh. You see, the power there is actually, he, he possessed the things that were actually captured by the devil. Wow. In the first Adam dispensation, right. he came out because he was able to partake of the food of life. Yes. 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 Amen. Thank you. I, I'm, not, I'm, not missing, I'm not missing you. You're good. You're good. You're good. Are, we, are we following something? Yes. yes. So what happens is the whole thing is as the Lord takes you as a child, you begin to drink milk. Then you need to transition from, from being a child yeah. to become a son. Yeah. To drink, I mean to eat of much. Yeah. 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 Meat. Meat. Yeah. 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 And what most of us as Christians don't like is actually the, comfort, uh, the discomfort part. Yeah. The wilderness. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If I'm confused, you let me just explain. You see, in the first Adam dispensation, the garden was actually flourishing. The garden was beautiful. The garden was so beautiful. Everything was done. But because he disobeyed and did not eat the fruit of what? The, uh, the, the, the life, yes. and he asked the other one, he was kicked out, and now the garden now became what? 
wilderness because there was nobody there to tend to the garden. Yes. So in the second Adam's dispensation, the garden has now become a wilderness. So that is why he needed to enter into the wilderness and to now conquer the same devil that conquered the first Adam and to be able to defeat him and go and eat of the food that yes, is yes, yes. the food of life.
while they were there suffering, they were cultivating the people, Kenyan, the Kenyan people were cultivating. Yes, 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 yes. Making it comfortable for them. Yes. Once, once they were able to partake of the fruit of life, they immigrated from Egypt, now into the promised land, and possessed their possession. Mm. Yes. Yes. They did not do anything there. No. This is because it was originally for them. Yeah. God has given it for them. And it's the same thing. God created the entire, entire earth for, 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 for the dominion of, of mankind. Yeah. Everything in the sea, on the land, in the air. But through deception, Satan took it away from us. Yes. You see, but in order for you to actually get it back, you need to go into the wilderness. Yes. That is what most of us do. Don't like. Yes. Yes. Because it has you. You have to deny yourself in order to be able to go through that sin. If you have attachment with you, the things of the world with you, you can't go through that place. Jesus was tempted by Satan with three things. Food. Uh, power, dominion mm -hmm. over the entire uh, kingdom yes. that he took, Satan took. And then, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, if you're a uh, if you, if you son of God, or uh, whatever, yeah, cast uh, uh, down. Uh, uh, go read yourself down. Right, so cast yourself down. Yes, yes. Tell yes. God. You see? And these are the things we face in life. Yes. That most of us can't really overcome. Yeah. The last of the flesh, the last of the eyes, and the, the pride, pride of life. Yeah. Yes. So in order for God, for Jesus to be able to overcome the devil, he needed to overcome these things. Yeah. So he left the world, entered into the garden again, which had become the wilderness. Mm -hmm. For him to be tempted, with good and evil. Yes. And for him to be overcome, for him to overcome those things. And as he overcame, he ate of the he partook of the of the tree of life. Because the reason I'm saying that is this. Originally, this and the Lord said to them, you can eat of every tree. Yes. Including the tree of life. You see? Now, watch this. When they ate the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The Lord said, I have to suck them. Least they eat of the tree of life and live forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they will have life. Mm -hmm. So they were sucked. So as they suck, you can't have life if you don't eat that fruit. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's the Lord. So in order for him to, uh, to have the life, he needs to come back into the wilderness or the garden and to fight and to be able to eat the tree. Uh, the tree of uh, the fruit of life. Amen. Or the tree of life. Amen. And this has been a struggle. So listen, the power you need to take dominion over the things that God has given to you to fulfill. Yeah. Because every one of you sitting under the sound of my voice, God has given you purpose, assignment. And I hate to say this. Watch this. I hate to say this, but I'll say it. Immediately you are born into the earth. Because of the raising of the first Adam. What he did. That is like automatically you lose dominion. Mm. 